to them from the communications into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Like I'm shuffling my papers like a proper news interview. Hi, I'm Angela. I'm from the um, communications and development department at uh, Baishan. And with me, I have. Hi, I'm Minju. Uh, I'm a student at Yai Ching Academy of Peking University, and I'm also a Baishan scholar. I'm from Korea, uh, but when I was uh, around. 10 years old. I went to the United States with my family. I lived there for five years. Uh, I came back to Korea. I studied in Chongqing Kwan University. Um, so I, I think I was always interested in like multicultural uh, settings and uh, friends and ideas and um, yeah, just try to see how we can be more like globalized in today's world. Wow, so you've lived in Korea? The States, mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. and now China. Yeah. That is really representative of Baishan because we're all about building bridges across many, many cultures and you're living it. Yeah. Absolutely living it. Okay, so tell me about your experience as a Baishan scholar. Um, my experiences as a Baishan scholar, I think really, really wonderful. It's been like very uh, great two well, years. We weren't here. <laughs> Really great two years for my personal growth and development because I I was not very sure exactly what I wanted to do or like what I imagined myself doing in life. I knew what where my interests were, but I think I had to really like break out of my shell and kind of go out of my comfort zone. And I think being in touch with so many different uh, people from different cultures and uh, yeah, it really makes you think about you know who you are and how are you different, and you have to also accept you know your uh, failures and your insecurities. And also during this uh, summer pro summer program that Bai Xian uh, organized, uh, they really tried to challenge us. You know, like they put us into some situations but that were quite, quite scary. I mean, not dangerous, but a little bit scary. So tell me about some of these scary experiences. <laughs> okay, so there is one where um, they made us <laughs> climb like the face of a mountain near the Great Wall in China. Um, and you have to climb these iron bars. Like I saw it on the video, it looks very scary. Yeah, I, we climbed for like, I don't know, like two hours, like really high up. I, it was very scary at times, but uh, I think I only got through it because I had my friends with me there and they were always talking to me and calming me down, like, you can do it, you can do it. So yeah, it was a, I, when I got to the top, it was such a valuable experience for me that I did it. I think that really helped put into perspective when I was on the uh, climbing the mountain. I was thinking about all these like other scary moments in my life that had to do with you know facing people like replying to emails, you know, like all these uh, uh, scary things that in my life that felt like so big, you know. But you know, when I was at the mountain, I felt like, okay, if I can do this, then you know, this is like not a big deal. Right. Like, it's I, relative. It's not a matter of life or death. Even at the Baishan summer camp, I didn't meet as many people as I could have because I, I, you know, it's it's always hard for me. But I think uh, making those kind of uh, like a uh, few connections, but I felt like were quite meaningful. As you said, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. So if you built one or two meaningful relationships or one or two of the speakers or contributors really spoke to you in a deep level, that is enough. It's not about collecting as many contacts as you can, it's about meaningful connections with those contacts. And I do encourage fellow introverts um, not to be afraid of uh, a program like Baishan where you're meeting a lot of people. Yeah, I think uh, for me it was particularly difficult to uh, realize what my true goals were in life and what I really wanted. There were some low points in life where I felt like, oh, I really don't know what I want. You know, I feel totally lost. I feel like everyone is heading somewhere, but I'm not heading anywhere. Baishan summer program helped a lot. Uh, starting an internship helped a lot. You know, meeting new people, doing new experiences. 
I'm super old and I can tell you I don't know what to do with the rest of my life either. So <laughs> I think you're well, well ahead already. Um, thank you, Minji, for your time, for sharing uh, your insights with us. Thank you. Pleasure, not mine.